about six o'clock in the morning on man you're being really loud i'm facetiming with ashley six o'clock in the morning i just did my morning stuff you can't see but the puppy wants up more than anything in the whole world and i'm facetiming with ashley i woke her up because it's five o'clock in the morning her time i'm waiting for this guy to go by so i can get a quick video of his truck and trailer set up because up here in michigan they're allowed like 150 some odd thousand without permits so and then i'm gonna go ahead to my delivery my pre-plan got canceled and i got a new plan i'm going from michigan to omaha with it no nope, not the guy i think he's actually working on his truck on the end so i'm probably just gonna go but we'll go over there and kick off this roll stock and i don't know what i'm getting on my next load we'll just have to see but I wrote my other pre-plan in the book, and I probably shouldn't have. I should have waited until I actually got it. Now I'm gonna have to cross that one out and write in this new one. But, waiting for the guy. I'm over here at my pickup. You can see, but if you look in the mirror there, there's a little red light on. He's loading me right now. Take him a little bit he's having to run quite a ways it's from what it sounds like but i'm right across from this old abandoned building they said this area is like the um capital of uh paper so i'm assuming they used to make paper at this place but it's run down and graffitied all over the place they even have over that part of the way down the wall so I don't know how in the world they did that but like most abandoned places it's all destroyed people have been destroying it I'm assuming it's gonna end up having to be torn down at some point in time he's running wide open throttle going back and forth but I should be loaded here pretty soon. I'm going to Omaha. I'm only 10 hours away. There's gotta be some rotation in that. Shelby, Iowa, parked over in the back corner here. The uh, I don't know the world that is, but that uh, RV over there says "Hippies are the world" in the front of it. See that quite a bit in trucking. But I made it here. Oh, I gotta change this off. Second breath. Ten 
power. Turn this off. Made it here with 51 minutes left on my 11. And I'm 45 minutes from my drop. And I never heard if my delivery got updated or not. So we're just gonna go in there morning and kind of see what happens. But my puck here will not turn on. It's not showing charging or nothing. And I tested this plug to make sure that it was charging things. And it is, and it's definitely plugged in. It's definitely working. So I wonder if this battery might have died or something. I don't know. I tried resetting it through here. That didn't work. So I just got to figure out how in the world to turn it back on. Or I'm going to be without internet for a long while, and I don't want that. So we'll just have to see what happens. Well, I'm taking a whole bunch of shorts, hanging out. Got a time lapse going. Got Highwaymen going. The laptop back there, and I need to get back on that. Keep editing. I but I sit up here kind of until it gets a little bit too dark to take videos as trucks are going by. Add, add more to my collection. Puppy's down here on his bed. And I need to, uh, I need to get, to, or start getting to bed. I got some editing to do, so I'll sit in the bed for a while and do a bunch of editing and then clonk out. Took my nighttime meds my sleeping pill and all that kind of stuff a little bit ago. But it's interesting watching the crackheads just hang out over there. They call themselves hippies, but I'm not convinced of that. So, another fun night. Pump him in. So, as usual, unless something interesting happens, we see you guys tomorrow after I take an allergy pill. <clears throat> I'm sure my voice is all easily as he usually is because my sinuses and stuff plug up my eye itches it's fall or it's practically still dead as summer but you know pollen and all that so see you guys tomorrow